Big political story playing out in the national capital. While amidst escalating tensions in New Delhi, both the BJP and the Ahmadmi Party are locked in a high-stakes standoff still over the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal by the Enforcement Directorate. While the BJP demands that Kejriwal's resignation should be coming in, Ahmadmi Party leaders have initiated a march towards the Prime Minister's residence and that has resulted in multiple detentions. Uh, there's massive security measures also that are in place with metro stations having been sealed, commuters are, of course, facing the brunt. They're facing inconvenience as a result of this news development. Remember Arvind Kejriwal? He's been detained by the ED. He's issued uh, a second order from the custody. And, and there you can see pictures of uh, the protests coming from the national capital where security has been tightened. My colleague uh, Tejushri from uh, the Times Network is joining it with more details. Tejushri, tell us what's happening on the ground. Well, yes, certainly announcement was made that they will be carrying out a protest and in fact it was supposed to be a nationwide protest. But however, today as far as we talk about the national capital, yes, the party pr planned a massive protest and they were planning to head towards the 7 LKM that, hit, that is the residence of Prime Minister Modi. But certainly barricades were placed and in fact no protester was allowed to move. And now the protesters have all been detained, senior leaders like Somnath Bharti, Veena Gupta, the chief spokesperson of Ahmadmi Party, she has also been detained. So as of now, protesters... Uh, protest ends at the Patel Chowk over there. In fact, Patel Chowk was the area from where they were supposed to enter the seven, they were supposed to make their way towards the 7 L camp. But yes, as far as today's protests are concerned, a handful of uh, people came, they were detained. So this was the continuous activity that was going on at Patel Chowk. Number one, it is about the protest. Number two, if we talk about the kind of, uh, num the second order that's been issued by the Kejriwal uh, government. And in fact, it was Arvind Kejriwal himself who had issued the order from the jail itself and it was regarding the health department. First of all, it was for water and now it was for the health department to Saurabh Bharadwaj and now uh, you see counter protests were also held and in fact uh, now the BJP is calling these all orders, these all protests and the and the uh, statements that are being given by Aam Aadmi Party, the letters that have been put forward by Aam Aadmi Party as an illegal one. But Aam Aadmi Party says very much, states very much, very much adamant and they say that they will be continuing the protest, they will continue to run the government no matter what and no matter what Kejriwal will be issuing the orders from the jail also. Back to you. All right. Uh, the United States has uh, now reacted to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest by the Enforcement Directorate. The U.S. has said that it encourages fair and legal process. Trinjoy Chaudhary is here getting us more details. Trinjoy, now U.S. is reacting and earlier Germany had also reacted wherein India actually registered its protest against the country for what it calls India's internal matter. The West has reacted to the Kejriwal arrest. The Americans have reacted. The Germans have reacted. The basic reaction is as follows, that the arrest and the efforts, the legal efforts, should be fair and should be transparent. This is what America has said. This is what roughly Germany has said. And both countries, friends of India, are making it very clear that this is part of the Indian legal process. The only thing is that it should be fair and it should be transparent. After Germany, now the United States, of course, uh, reacting to the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, demanding that uh, a fair legal process uh, should be followed. Of course, India not taking it kindly. And of course, India has registered, like I said, its protest as far as Germany's reaction was concerned.